So today I'm just going to run you through a little bit about what we're doing with these brake lines. Uh, it seems to be a simple job but actually there's a lot involved. Uh, first up we use the Cunifer um, Cupra Nickel brake line, it's 3 sixteenths, it won't corrode and uh, it forms nice bends as you can see. So we've straightened this coil out for short sections on the uh, tube straightener and then put our bends in exactly where we want them. We've got a nice plastic bender so it doesn't gnarl up the tubing. You've got to carefully measure where your start and stops are, where your bend radius is going to bring your outcoming leg and then you've got to allow enough distance to get this and the fitting into the flaring tool. So we'll just pop that in, put a little flare on the end and I'll show you where that's going on the van. And just bring that flush with the end. Nip that down. So there we have our bubble flare. So we take our hell brake line, flexi line, and spin this in. If I can get that to catch. <laughs> there we go. And then we can position that. So we've got to go, I don't know if you can see that, but we've got to go through that hole there in the back of the inner wheel arch. So I'm just going to mark up where I want that to be, that bend to be. So now we've got our mark, which is where we want the outcoming leg to be. So I always keep rough bits of bend that obviously didn't go quite right, but I use them as a jig so you can see I've got markings on it. And it's quite easy to just pop it back into the bender and you'll see that this mark, for example, is just at the bottom of the D shape. So we can soon use that to work out where we want our bend to start because we want that leg to come out there so put a mark on here and this is going to be the start of this D shape for the bend it's always important to make sure you bend it the right way because uh, it's easy to mess it up at this late stage and you have to start all over again. Turn that to 90. There we are. 